Greetings and salutations and welcome to Kona EXP and welcome to Taylor's Engine House. Now we are sat on the original seat and I thought I'd give you a lowdown of what projects we've got lined up this year. So, uh, number one, we've got a Bedford Rascal camper van and uh, we're going to be doing some welding on that very soon now. It requires uh, one new tyre because I did notice the other day that one had gone a bit flat, I pumped it up and it's gone flat again. So there's obviously some fault form problem there. I think what I will do is I will check the, um, the walls of the tyre to make sure there's no serious cracks in it and check the tread. Now I did, I did initially give it a once over a while back and it did actually look alright. So if the tyre is okay then what I will do is put some goop inside of it and uh, what that will do if there's any punctures there, which are, probably is more than likely with the beading on the wall or whatever, if that doesn't fix it then we'll just get a new tyre put on it. Or, you know. We need some metal for the front, right at the front of the vehicle we've got the the, the bumper and then you've got the metal that curves under it. The very edges of that are corroded so we're going to get that all cut out and uh, put back in basically. I've uh, I bought a new telly the other day, a 24 inch LED uh, smart telly and I'm happy. It's, it's bloody brilliant. I'm really stoked about that. So I'm going to get, now what I need to get is a Wi-Fi um, mini um, it, it's a router basically, uh, but it works off a SIM card and you pay so much a month and it gives you unlimited basically internet, no matter where you are. So we could roll up down at uh, Botanic at the Crowns or whatever, providing them all above, you know, as long as you're not down by the engine house, obviously you can't drive down there anyways, but as long as you've got a good mobile signal you should be able to get a good 4G mobile Wi-Fi network, which is awesome. So that means we can go anywhere, and we can because I'm going to get another Chromecast as well, or an LTV box, which basically connects to um, your, whatever um, Wi-Fi you've got, whether it's a little SIM card, mobile. I think it's EE, so it's EE Osprey. That's what it is basically, and it just gives you the internet no matter where you are. Which most van makers, because I know a few, to be fair, on YouTube. I've subscribed to a lot of them, like the Boondockers, um, like Liam the Terrible, and there's others beside him. So yeah, they've got the same kind of setup, so that's what we're doing, basically, so we can go anywhere, watch YouTube, and relax, and what have you. The van, the living pod, as I call it, it doesn't require any work apart from, I'm going to change the colour of it, but the actual van bit, where you drive the van, that is staying white because of DVLA rules and regulations, like, you know. So yeah, so that's the big project. Um, I've got a little scooter which I'm going to do up and one of my close friends is having that basically. So we're going to put that, um, basically fix it up because it's, um, the owner that had it had it from new I believe and they didn't bother MOTing it from new so it's never had an MOT so it, there's panels that are damaged, I think it needs a front tyre and a couple of little bits like that and then we're going to MOT it and then we make is going to take it on basically so it's you know cheap transport yes i've got a bsa 20 at home which is a small like a shopper like a rally shopper going to get some new tires for that later this year and uh, we're going to do another purchase later this year and that will be featured on the channel a bit as well so there's going to be some garage sessions coming back folks so yeah, uh, I did do a series on like my um, Suzuki Bergman getting it ready for the MOT. That was featured. Going to be doing some more videos like that, but like the Bedford and like the rally bike. I'm going to be building a coal shed because I don't know if you've heard or know, but the government are bringing in a ban on the burning of house coal. So I'm going to build a small gut coal shed, and I'm basically going to stack it to the gunnels with coal to make sure I've got plenty. I'm going to get a few logs as well and some few bags of kindling because I've, I've got a new wood burning stove. I'm going to do a feature on that really soon now as well. Um, bought that from uh, my close mate David and uh, so thanks to David and thanks to your uncle as well and thanks to Alfie on regarding that. That is coming very soon folks in the next five days, something like that. We're going to do a video on that so it's going to be all good. 
Also, I've got another wood burning stove which I've had for some time. My chimelea that I've, you've probably seen it featured on the channel before of uh, the outside fire. That is being decommissioned and I've got an old wood burning stove which I've had for a long time and that is going to be turned into the outside one. So, so during the summer months, because I, I, I will be doing some more barbecues this year and uh, I'm hoping hoping in the next week, to week and a half, we can celebrate something, but I don't want to say too much about that right away. So yeah, we've got a few things planned, folks. Uh, I've got loads of more exploring videos coming up. Loads more of different locations, like I've got a video that I, won't, I am going to do very soon of Frenchman's Creek. I've, I've done one on it, but I only explored half of it, basically. There's another, there's the rest of it to explore. And now we've got the gimbal, we can do bloody brilliant films like you know so yeah it's keep yourself posted we've got a lot coming this year also there's going to be featured the Houston railway um, we're going to be going down there and doing hopefully some more cleaning on the locomotive and that and how the railways progress because I know that we've, we've got an extra quarter of a mile more so I would like to film that as well so I know I can do that so that's all right and of course East Paul Mine here we're going to have special events on I think later on this year we're going to have Steam Day, um, so if you're interested in that then you will be able to see it on video. We, we are going to be exhibiting our own engine, uh, we've got a horizontal steam winder which Jonas Grandad made, so you, that's been featured before and it's going to be featured again, so it's going to be all good. So keep yourselves posted folks. Mr P, get it out there, yay! Right, well we'll see you later. Chairs are gone.